winner is a small country to the north. No wood boarding house. I am Paula and I'm with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, the far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend who we've never met, but your one and only hope. Anyway, we're taking control of Jess. What's going on, guys? I'm Max more Earth. I'm back in the last part. We made it three only to get possessed. And then some crap we can't escape. We just can do. If we talk to this kid right here. Ah, oh, Jeff, I just learned that you and I were taking a walk. What's wrong? Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the door rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? All right, there must be some reason I don't understand. I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without uh, taking anything along. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I'll help you get out of here. Let me join you. Now I'm just gonna cut to the chase uh, about Tony. Because it's a very interesting character design. Tony is confirmed by both the game's creator, Shigesato Toy, and Earthbound's US localizer to be gay. I think gay character is like a really rare thing now, let alone in the mid 90s. So like, I think it's fucking ballsy that they did this. And it's a, it's a great level of ballsy because like you don't really see this now, let alone in the mid 90s. A creature called Tessie lives in the southern lake. I don't believe it. I don't think someone made a model and placed in the lake. I'm sleepy. I will wash my face, brush my teeth, but do my business and go to bed. I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim I've actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true that as the center of the Stonehenge that an entrance will lead someplace. Someday we'll just crack it out. Now. I want you to listen to this fantastic music. Should have got a raise. Really should have got a raise. Like this is this is the mother song Snowman because it plays in the Snowman area in Mother One. It plays in all three Mother games, and it's a this version right here is a really nice rendition. The rendition in Mother 1, 2, it's more 8 bit, but like, um, if you're going outside, but say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks after the younger students. Maxwell's still looking hard in the lab downstairs. And these days, there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. So sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I decorate each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. You have to open the present, there's a cookie inside. These all contain cookies. Take as many as you want. We talked to him again. Jeff, I can't believe you can do something so nasty. Yeah, so uh, we're basically kind of arming ourselves up so we can leave the dorm or leave the boarding school. This is supposed to be based off of boarding schools in England. Like, if all that's supposed to be based off of America, this is supposed, winner is supposed to be based off of England. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff, Father, Dr. Andrew, and us were here. We all provide a great deal of help. I already used an astounding person. I'm the first leader of our ultra science club. Are you fear than Einstein or Heisenberg? Oh my god, there's an uh, Star Fox 64 has the same reference. Rumor has it, he's also very strange. For heading to the locker room, uh, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. I swear, does Einstein legit exist in, like, uh... Nintendo World because Star Fox 64 has that same reference. Anyway, we uh, try to use the key on one of lockers. He is bent and doesn't fit in the keyhole. Sad. Talk to him again. 
Haha, ha, the key didn't work, did it? I just uh, I, I thought that might be the key, so I just invented the machine that opens up. Especially when you have a slightly bad key, so for the inconvenience. We have the bad key machine. If your doctor and that's a sign, you should be able to make your small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. As great as this music is, this is the only time you hear it in the whole game. You can hear it anytime you want later in the game in Mother 1, but like... Yeah, it's a fantastic song, you only hear it once, and it's such a disappointment. This is one of my favorite songs, legit, in the Mother series. Use the vacuum machine. And, uh, nothing in this locker. Use the vacuum machine. There's nothing in this, nothing in this locker. We're just gonna check out the lockers. Nothing in this locker. What's in really the left locker? There's a home hat, and that's the defensive items. We might as well uh, take that. Uh, same thing we have with Ness. It's gonna, keep, it's gonna raise the V from, from 2 to 12. Much like Paula, Jeff starts at level 1. Go up in the locker using the bad key machine. There's a pop gun in the locker. Jeff got it. Now the pop gun. That's an offensive item that raised our offense from 2 to 18. Is there anything in here? Pumpkin air gun, which uh, we can fix later. Now, Jeff can fix items, like broken items, depending on how his IQ is raised. That's all we can do in the snow, snow, the winter's boarding school. I am so gonna miss this music. I am so gonna miss this music. But we have to advance in the game. Leave the boarding school. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where we're going. You're going or why? We're going to be best friends forever. Uh, we're going to see Tony again in, later in the game. I just love him as a character. He's like so naive. He's like so. He comes off as like very naive, and I just like that about him. Ooh, we don't have an ATM card, so we cannot take money out of the bank. We, however, there's a monkey there for taking money. He doesn't have to buy a pack of money. We got your buck. We can buy for a buck. That's really all we can call do with Jeff. We keep him, however, called Maxwell Labs, and that's Jeff's equivalent of Nest on his dad. That's basically how you save in the Jeff's portion of this game. And remember, um, there's the T-Rex's bat, non-stick fry man, the coin of silence, the picnic lunch. Now, uh, these weapons the game designers do not intend you at all to get in this point in the game. However, there does exist a challenge involving getting these weapons. You fight the enemies in this area and they drop the items and you sell them. You keep doing it over and over again until you have enough to buy all these items. Not once have I attempted this challenge. Maybe someday I'll do it in a live stream, but like, I don't want to spend seven hours fighting the same enemies over and over again. Talk to the, yeah, give me some gum. My got a piece of gum from Jeff Blue Bubble. Bubble Monkey joins you. Now, however, when it comes to Jeff, like, uh, we are going to see some of the same enemies with in the Jeff phase we saw with Ness, so I can't really give the same explanation twice. Listen to this fantastic music, by the way. You know... Parts of the game like this is also why I decided to wait until the holiday season to do an Earthbound playthrough because, like, I really like to play through Earthbound this time of year. It's like, really with winters, like, it gives me the innocent feeling of, like, December. Even in eight colder months, I do like the Christmas season. We are approaching. We are. This will be posted in December. So, like, um. Merry Christmas, viewers, or Happy Holidays. You get it from you get it from Jeff, and you get it. You get this. Oh. We get the spiteful crows. Now uh, they will do one damage. They will do less, less damage than we did before because uh, we have better defensive items. And they uh, there's a cookie, but Jeff cannot carry any more stuff. Uh, we don't need a bajillion cookies. We threw the cookie to get a cookie. Now, what do you want to do with Jeff? Much like Paula before, you want to get Jeff up more XP. 
shoot these enemies. Now, uh, these are the Gruff Goats. They can do a weaker attack and a stronger attack. Stronger attack is 20 damage, even with our Holmes hat. That does, uh, 4 damage. Random 20, that'll do 4 damage. Um, I'm gonna say he's a cookie because I do not trust this asshole. In a smash attack. Uh, if you do manage to beat these guys, though, they, do, they drop a lot of XP. They tore into you. Yeah, that did 11 damage. Like, that's legit, like, scary. We can survive another tour into you, but, uh... The game tame. We're gonna get a lot of XP out of this, though. Jeff is now level 2. Offense went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Jeff is now level 3. Speed went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Max HP went up by 2. Now, if you can manage to beat some of these enemies in the Jeff portion, if you can manage to defeat them, you get a lot of XP. If we're going in this tent... Many animals have become wild. So many evil is going on. Go on to rest here for a short while. Have something to drink. Perhaps some tea. Like I said, this is based off of England. It's playing some its own music. It's really nice. It's a nice game. Like, it's not for everyone. Like, I've... I've tried to get people to play this before, and some people like it, some people don't. Because, like... I don't know, like, um... I, they're, they're real life friends I've introduced this game to, however, and like, um, other, and like other people I know that I've introduced this game to, they just do not like, they just don't get it at all. It's like, I'd say like, even though this game has like a dedicated fan community and like, it's one of the things it's known for, if it's a re-release, like, um, some recommend this game like multiple times, like some, until it finally clicks with someone, but, uh. When I played it a decade ago on the Wii U Virtual Console, it just clicked with me because, like, um, I don't know, like, um, I'm also someone that said earlier I'm a big fan of the Monty Python movies. This game does sample Monty Python in the unnamed selection. I'm also a fan of the Peanut Specials because I have that innocent mind. So, like, um, really, like, the animation, in, the graphics in this game does remind me of an an the animation in Peanuts. So that's another thing that makes this game as a win could give this game a W for me is, um, this is the test watching club, but we're gonna get a cutscene. You have a friend who I've never met before. Jeff, head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Go to the net. Jeff, Jeff fixed the broken spade can. After he fixed it, the game the fence spray. Anyway, so the IQ is how you fix, uh, broken items. Play different music. Talk to them. Where that roll pool is. This movie we've been waiting for how it's coming out. Art, excuse me. Guess he's a murder. This, that, that's the second fart joke we've seen in this game. Like I said, this was the 90s, and like, um, and like, um, sometimes 90s humor is not for everyone. Give me some gum now. Cute. I'll take care of everything. We're gonna ride on Tessie, which is, uh, essentially a purple lap. It's, it's a mix between Lapras and Barney the Dinosaur, is how I like to say it.
You know, these the winner section, the Jeff section is going to be one final part. Final part, I work one big part, massive part. Might just be the last part I record this section because I've now been recording for an hour and a half. But, um, yeah, it's the last thing I record this section. I don't know why. We should have more defense, so I guess these won't be a big deal. Why is it attack on? We get smash attack. We get smash attack. Or any of the. That still does fall down. Jesus Christ. Okay, the game pain. F is now level 4. Oh, baby. Offensive by 3. Oh, baby. Defensive by 3. That's why by 2. I came up by one. Luck went by two. Max HP went by three. Like I said, you want to get Jeff up as many levels as possible. Now there's a pencil race pencil racer. There's a pencil statue. Unfortunately, we don't have our own pencil thing because Ness has that in his inventory. We're kind of 42 FP from that level. I forgot to play some different music. The modest dungeon. Brick Road. I make a modest mouse reference, but um, because you fight mice here, but uh, yeah, despite modest mouse being on Ray-Ban, this game's gonna do the pop cult references, not really me. Oh fuck, we're almost dead. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, it missed. Okay, that kind of saved us. Yeah, you don't want it, you don't want those smash attacks. You almost killed us again. Just come with the boiled egg, and we would have flat out died. And all that just for a bread wall, which we have no choice but to use it. Race these max out, thankfully. We should be almost level five, but uh, I'm trying to think uh, where to go. Uh, okay, this is a. Okay, there's a legit one. This is the worthless. This is wordless protoplasm, uh, they kind of disguise themselves as, uh, as, uh, gift boxes, or boxes in this game that you get items from. Yeah, no. What do you see about Jeff is, um, depending on how you equip him, Jeff is now level 5, so you by 1, but I went by 1, if you went by 1, Max is by 7. I will say to Jeff is that the, that is that when he de, when he joins our party fully is that uh when he gets to Ness and Paula depending on how you equip him he's either gonna be the the weakest team member or the best. This is the Mad Duck now the Mad Duck can fall down peck at your eyes and uh damn it and disable PP except it is that uh, Jeff does not come with PP. He cannot use PP attack. It's another thing that, depending on how you equip him, he can be the weakest or strongest party member. Okay, he just disabled P uh, PSI. So Jeff doesn't have any PP. So yeah, not too bad. All that just for an item I don't think I need. I think there's a weapon in here. I have to check. I know there's a weapon in here. Broken iron. Need, uh, let's, yeah, let's just use our cookies. We don't really need them anymore. We're at the point where like they're going to be less useful. Sorry, Tony. We ate all your cookies. Well, one of the mad ducks should get us a level up, so... um. Jeff went up by level 6, IQ went up by 1, I'm actually queuing by 3. Now, uh, yeah, this is basically, there's a whole section in this area, there's a whole Jeff section, that's basically how you get him up as levels. The farther you get in the Jeff section, the stronger enemies you fight. Jesus, look at that fight. Worthless robots and call for help, look, we got 68 XP. Now wasn't even enough for a level up. That's just extra lame. Oh fuck, I don't want to fight a Rowdy Mouse. I want that item, but I don't want a Rowdy Mouse next to it. You know what I'm gonna do? 
just in case I game over, we're just gonna save at this phone. So we don't have to go through this whole area again because there is a very well, very great chance uh Okay, this is what we can uh do this. I want that. That's a weapon in that box. Thank God for the smash attack. I wish we could have the smash attack. We can get a smash attack. No smash attack. Oh yeah. Still no level up. If open the present, there's a stun gun, and this is a stronger version of the pop gun. And uh we don't know we don't need the pop gun anymore, so let's drop it. Now uh let's kinda I guess we can go in uh here. Maybe it was too easy. My name's Brickrow, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Uh, well, if you my skills not going to enough intelligence, I can become the dungeon man. The first combination of human dungeon history. Let's meet again once I become a dungeon man. Would you like me to get a good night's rest? Yes. Kind of acts as a heal, a free healer. Very solid, very solid free healer. If you have the eraser machine, which you're gonna, we're gonna have to come back here later and get rid of that, but like, uh, you don't need that anymore. In this game, we're gonna fight a lot of the same uh, enemies that uh, we fought in the Iron King. Now, the Pokemon, the, not the Pokemon, the Axons. Much like before, oh, but only in this portion of the game, they have a 1 in 120 chance of dropping the bomb. Jeff now level 7, off the by 2, I queue up by 1, max up by 1. Much like before, they have a 1 train chance of dropping the bombs. It's only limited to this part of the game, unlike the area on that, but uh. Very much like I said, and I've elaborated before. So I'm gonna kill the riding mouse first. Thankfully, we have a stronger gun, so I can take it out in one hit, and uh. Oh yeah. We're gonna get a lot of XP in this point in the game. Cause uh, look, we're looking at uh, we're gonna hide. We're looking at two more encounters. Um. Anyway, so there's a hamburger, which um, in this area in the dungeon, we're gonna see. Maybe not. One in 128 item. I did! Oh my god, Jeff's now level 8. Offense went by 1, defense went by 1, speed went by 2. Oh baby, I got Luck went by 1. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I need to get to this part of the game. But like, that's the first 128 item. Anyways, the starting evil mushroom. We already fought these earlier, but we have to fight them again as Jeff. I don't think these ones can shroomize us, but I could be dead wrong. It was a cook, a plain old cookie. We went from a 1 in 128 rare item to a cookie. Lame. Anyway, so once we uh, advance more, hopefully. Um. Jeff's now level 9, IQ went up by 1, my CP went by 2. Definitely get Jeff up his levels. Now, um... Yeah, this area, you know, we're gonna kind of try to... Oh, fuck, which one kill for... I'll kill the Rowdy Mouse first, I see that as a bigger threat. It okay, still does 12 damage. Fuck! Okay, stop moving, thank god. And this thankfully gave us uh, we're gonna have to use our hamburger though. Just here though. I mean, an enemy fight. Right? But now once we get into an enemy fight, they drop the cookie. I'll just use the cookie to clear inventory space. Um if we go up here, just make sure to go up here also. There's a cheap bracelet. Not the best of item in this point in the game, but uh it raised Jeff's defense. Avoid about I, which I did. Yeah, I'll kill the mushroom first. It is now level ten. Offense went up by two. Defense went up by one. 
I queue one up by one. Max is queuing up by two. Anyway, so, uh, I don't have any more items. And what's in here? Bottle rocket. Nice item. Nice item. We need big ball rock. We need that later. We need that for later. Um, I need all these items though. I want to get it. You know what I know? We don't need the ruler. Screw the ruler. I do need the Papa album. Oh, yeah, no. It's kind of. He kind of floats up. One of, there's a sanctuary location, but we can't go there yet because we don't have the we don't have the sound sound. No, no, she's my type. I think that's her date. And the monkey's gonna leave us. So, uh, we're at Stonehenge. Maybe the people in the winners boarding school are talking about the uh, cavemen in Stonehenge. Uh, let's see, we can fight one of them. They are very strong enemies, but uh, if we can beat them, we can get a really good item and a lot of XP. Chance it. They do now. Uh, they do a lot of damage. Oh, and I mean a lot of damage if they hit you. But they have a good chance of hitting also. Oh fuck. No. No. I'll see you in a second. Dev is now level 11. Offense went up by one, defense went up by one. I keep one up by one. Lock went up by one. I keep one. All right, we went through this area again. It wasn't as bad the first time because I could insta kill the right mouse, but uh, let's take another shot at these cavemen. This time I'll kick their ass and I'll get the item I want. This skin, these are also really good enemies to grind because they give a fuckload of XP. And uh, looks like our offense is up. Um, oh fuck. We can only survive one more hit. Oh fuck. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh. I'm gonna beat one of these fuckers. Twelve offense went up by two. Speed up went up by two. But now went up by one. By two went up by one. Max went up by ten. This should be enough. We did another level up. So uh, I'm gonna face you again and I'm gonna beat your ass this time. Our defense went up, which will help. Okay, he, he's missing. He's missing. He's missing. I like that. These enemies, they have no chance of hitting anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can, we're going to do this. We're going to beat this fucker. <laughs> we get a whopping 618 experience out of this. Love the present. They will always drop the picnic lunch. And we'll take it. We didn't get a lot of luck. We're 48 away from a level up, but uh, yeah, these are really good grindy enemies. You can just grind them over and over and get Jeff up a really high level. You can still let me let me frame. These stone here, I'm making another stone. It's called Stonehenge. Sorry, but I'm only familiar with Stonehenge because of Spinal Tap. Okay, that's, I said I wasn't gonna make a pop culture reference. You've both lost and visit here, but like, uh, you have seen it on TV or here, right around the tablet. Yes, that's Stonehenge. So is that the Stonehenge or think of that fucking Spinal Tap scene? It's like, I don't know. It's like, I try to keep my own pop culture references to a minimum. Anyway, not Dr. Ragnar's lab. We can call Maxwell up. We're technically calling our own place. Kind of has a save point. And uh, we go to this machine here to a foundation device. So you can kind of just go here and uh, fight these, uh, fight these cave people and uh, just... Grind XP. Mr. Grip Bro, the dungeon maker referred you, right? Not only that, what? Who? My son. Oh, I can't believe it. Jeff, my son. It's been maybe 10 years I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Oh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Yes. Well, I was only offering. I don't also get donut right right now. 
Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Yes. Well, at least I asked. Hmm, okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. A girl named Paula must have seen sense why I was here. I'll try to help you out. I'll try, I'm, tr I'm trying to make a face of sorts and connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you do another adventure I call the Skyrunner. A little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you're bored, you always listen for messages that come to your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Is it neat? Get in. Let's get together in 10 years or so. What happened? It's not moving? Hey, why don't you press the button in the controller? It's about to crash in just about now. Maybe not. It's going to crash in momentarily. Skyrim, I guess it took a little damage when I landed. Oh well. You don't have to explain anything. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really. I'm going start kind of shouting. I tend to be a little It's just the way I am. I hope I'm be a friend, okay? Okay, let's get back to the journey then. Jeff has joined us. Okay. Your dad can call you if uh, you're playing the game for a long period of time. And because I've been recording for nearly two hours, it default to this message. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Being out of my business, but I don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? Uh, no. Ah, I see. Well, this is the last video I'm recording the session, but uh... Because I've been going through hours, but uh... Jeff, it's the bad key machine. We use it. The door opened. And we climb up the ladder and uh Yeah, we're out of, we're out. Free. So uh yeah, so next time on Earthbound, we're gonna see what more we can do in three. So I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.